Okay, happy to see you here on my channel Brain Logic, and I hope you see this challenge on internet. This is a viral challenge A divided by 2 and times 4. Uh, people all over the world arguing about the correct answer. One part of people tell the correct answer is 16, another part is 1. And in this video, I'm going to fully explain you what is the correct answer. I'm going to fully show you these two interpretations. I'm going to fully explain you when correct answer will be 16, when correct answer will be 1. And so I hope it will be really interesting. So let's go and figure out this super simple math problem. We have A divided by 2 and times 4. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have very simple division, we have very simple multiplication, so everyone learns the stuff in the in the third grade, so that's fantastic, and we don't have like a huge numbers, we have very regular numbers, regular values, we have 8, 2 and 4. So right now let's try to solve it. However many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section, I'll show you the correct answer here in just one minute, and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic mass concept that is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this problem incorrectly. So there are two interpretations. So the first interpretation looks like that. So take a look closely. We have our challenge, we have 8 divided by 2 and times 4. So here is our challenge and this is our first interpretation. According to the order of operations, division and multiplication have the same precedence. So the correct order is to evaluate from left to right, yeah, from left to right, and we have first sign from left to right, we have this division, so we should divide at first. So first take 8 divided by 2, we have, we have 4, yeah, we have 4 right here and 4 times 4 equal to equal to 16. So this gets to the correct answer of 16. But I want you to understand that there is second interpretation, very important and very interesting second interpretation. Let's look closely to this interpretation. But some people have a different interpretation, and while it's not the correct answer today, it would have been regarded as the correct answer 100 years ago. So some people may have learned this other interpretation more recently too, but this is not the way the calculators would evaluate the expression nowadays. So Let's look closely to this second interpretation. So we have 8 divided by 2 and times times 4. So let's suppose it was maybe 90, 70, 90, 20, so 100 years ago, and you saw this expression in your in your textbook. What would you think the author was trying to write? Because historically, the symbol division was used to mean you should divide by the entire product on the right of the symbol. So the whole entire product on the on the on the right of the symbol. Let's look at this and let's look at this explanation what I mean. So a symbol division 100 years ago mean that you divide by the whole entire expression. I put this parenthesis, uh, put this expression inside parentheses, so we have 2 times 4, so we divide by the whole entire expression. Doesn't matter how many signs you have right here, you divide by the whole entire, by the whole entire expression. From this stage, the rest of calculation works by the order of operations. Okay, first we evaluate the multiplication inside parentheses, because doesn't matter, for example, let's look at this PMDMC, PMDMC, first step parentheses. Doesn't matter what order of operation you select, we will have the same beginning. So every uh, order of operation is in agreement about the first step. So multiplication inside inside parentheses. So first we evaluate the multiplication inside parentheses. So we multiply 2 times 4 equal to 8. Yeah, so we have 8 dividing by, right here we have 8, as I told before, and 8 divided by 8 equal to 1. This is option B, right here, this is option A. So this is our first interpretation, this is our second interpretation, and here's maybe the main question. What is the correct interpretation, how calculators works nowadays? So right here, uh, this gives us the result of 1. This is not the, the correct answer that calculators will evaluate, rather it's what someone might have interpreted the expression according to older usage. So 100 years ago, people solve this question like that. 90, 70 years, let's write it, maybe 90, 90, 70 years approximately. Yeah, people solve this question like that. So 100 years ago, people solve this question like that. And let's write right here, older, older usage. But if you want to get this uh, option option B, uh, take a look closely my, my explanation to this question. For example, imagine we have x square y divided by xy, for example, something like that we have. And here's my question. We divide this x square y by what? By what expression? By x, by y, by x times y. So if you want to mention that you divide it by a whole entire product, you should put brackets, okay? It is very important step because nowadays students forget about brackets, students forget to write these brackets right here because this is very important. If you want to mention that you divide this by a whole entire expression, just put parentheses, okay? This is a very important step and then the correct answer will be B because then parentheses at first and then division. This is a very important step. So the correct answer 
according to this, if you want to get this one, is with these parentheses, which is a really important step. Without parentheses, one is not the correct answer. So this is our older usage. This is it. Is, this usage uh, takes place sometimes, but you you just need to know about it. You don't need to use this all the time because calculators is not works like that nowadays. Just want you to know that sometimes, 100 years ago, people solved this question like that. But let's go to this to this challenge right here. So uh, some students tell us, okay, but let's write this eight divided by two like a fraction. Maybe something changed. Let's do this. So we have eight divided by two. Let's write it as a fraction and times four. It changed nothing. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this. So eight divided by two equal to four and four times four equal to equal to sixteen, which is option option A. So as you can see, doesn't matter. We can write it as a fraction. We can write it. Uh, we can write it wherever we want. We will get this answer answer 16. So we hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learn something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. You can easily check it in your in your calculator. You can easily check this check this answer in your regular calculator. Maybe sometimes scientific uh, calculator or or graphing calculator when you can type this whole entire expression, but don't Use your regular calculator because sometimes your calculator works with problem as you type it in. So from left to right, they don't know about order of operation. Try to uh, try to enter this whole whole expression with everything with parentheses with brackets with doesn't matter with powers powers but the whole expression. If you put this a divided by two times four in your regular calculator, I give ninety nine percent that the correct answer will be sixteen because your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. So this is my explanation to this challenge. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. On the other hand, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again. You'll be like, okay, let's go, let's look at it, let's look at it. We have algebraic expression. Expression. Let's apply order of operation. So now pretty easy stuff. So here's our problem. So anytime you're faced with like a numeric expression and you'll get better at this through through practice. So here's my explanation to my challenge. I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new. So here's our answer. This is option option A. This is 16. Our correct correct answer to this challenge. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. So if you need any help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and wishing you all the best. Take care.